guys, what's up? Today we're going to be looking at how to play Over You by Mokita. The song is really cool and it's fun to play and the best thing about it is that it's actually not in standard tuning and that's good because this song allows beginners to get used to dad gad tuning, okay? And that's what the song is in. It's in dad gad tuning. If you don't know dad gad, don't worry, I'm going to walk you through it. So basically what we have is uh, the strings are tuned to the following. D, A, D, G, A, D. Okay, that's pretty obvious by the name. So let me just show you how to get to that tuning. So the A string, the D string, and the G string are all gonna, are, sorry, are all gonna remain the same. And the, the low E and the high E are gonna be tuned to a D string. Okay, so tune those down to a D string. And then the B string is going to be tuned down to an A string, okay? So you're actually only changing three of the strings, and then the other three, you're keeping them the same. Okay, so let's look at the progression used for the intro, the verse, and the chorus, okay? It's going to be this progression. Okay, so the first chord, or shape if you want to call it, is literally, literally just sliding from the second to the fourth of the D string, okay? Then you just play some open strings. For this uh, song, or, or this tuning rather, you can play lots of open strings. All the open strings sound nice with chords that we're playing, so don't worry about hitting extra open strings, okay? Then the next chord is gonna be a B. We'll just call it a B. It's more complicated than that, but uh, a B is the bass note, and it makes it much easier to, to just refer to it like that, okay? So that's just, uh, it's like a power chord. Two, four, four, on the, that's on the A. D and G strings, and then you also just play the bottom open strings, okay, the bottom two open strings. Then the last chord is going to be a G, we're going to play 5-5-5, five, 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 and then open, 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 okay. Okay. And then the strumming pattern is going to be very standard, and we're going to keep it the same throughout the whole uh, song, pretty much, okay. So the strumming pattern is going to look like this. I will annotate it on the screen and I'll show you how that goes really, really slowly. Okay, so that's going to sound like this. Okay, and if you notice, we actually changed to the, the B chord on an up strum, okay? So I'll just show you that really slowly and in detail. So it's down, 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 up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, that part's quite important because that chord change can be a little bit tricky to time it right. Okay, so let's look at the pre-chorus. The pre-chorus is just gonna have two chords. This is gonna be an E and then a G, okay? Same strumming pattern, so it's a or what we just played. Okay, cool. Okay, so the next section we're going to look at is the section just after the chorus, and that's where all that extra guitar comes in. That's going to sound something like this. So basically what's happening there is there's a melody that's being played and then there's just a bass note that persists throughout, okay? So what we're actually doing is we're just playing a, a D, that's a D, then a G, okay? So it's the same chords actually, except for now you're not playing the um, this B over here, okay? So it's, Because this first chord is, is basically like a D sus, some kind of D sus chord, okay? So what I'd suggest is, um, or what I'll do, is I'll, I'll show you the melody. Um, just learn the melody first and then add the, the bass notes afterwards, okay? Um, because that gets a little bit overwhelming to play both at the same time. So this is how the melody goes for the section, okay? I'll, I'll split it up into, into three different sections. 
that's the first part, okay? So it's, we're playing this on the D string, open, open, then four, open, five, four, open, and then seven. Okay, so. Okay, that's the first part. Next part goes like this. So that's open, open, four, open, five, four, seven, and then seven on the, the, the A string. Okay. Okay, so the next part goes like this. I'll just play the melody quickly. Okay, so that is five open, four open, five, four open, then five, five open, four, then five open, seven open. Okay. Okay, I'll play that slowly again. Okay, so basically what you want to do with this part is learn the melody first, then add the bass notes afterwards, okay? And you're going to be playing on two strings for every every time there's a note, basically, okay? In the melody, that is. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So for the first part, um, then we're going to be doing this. Okay, so can you see how I'm playing on two strings for every single uh, note or every single, yeah, every single note in the melody, right? Um, that's what you want to build up to. But if you just play the melody by itself, that's fine too. It sounds cool. Um, but I think that's what's happening in the song, where they're playing a bass note on top of the melody. Okay, so the last section in the song is going to be the pre-chorus, and that's the second pre-chorus, where there's an extra riff attached to that section. Okay, that's pretty easy. It goes like this. Okay, that's it. So we're playing, um, we're playing an E, and a G over that, okay? So we're gonna be starting on the seventh fret, and we're gonna play, that's, um, this is on the, the G and the D string, okay? Or the D and the G string, I should say. Okay? Then we go to the nine of the G, back to the seven, then on then the seven on the, the D, then 10 on the A. Okay, so I'll play that slowly. Then we've got this. Okay, so it starts off the same, like that. Then we go on the nine, on the G. I play nine on the G, seven on the D. Then we play nine on the B, and seven on the D. Okay, I'll play that slowly again. Now I'll play the whole thing uh, together. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you enjoyed this tutorial then please remember to give it a like and subscribe and I'll be posting a lot more tutorials like this so stay tuned. Have a great day guys.